Good morning, everyone in Remax Integra world. And a big shout out to all of you from Canada and the US here at Remax Integra. My name is Michelle Hoyt and I'm a learning and development specialist located in the Midwest. And I'm very excited to be your host this morning. This is a webinar, so you are in listen only mode. And due to the shortness of this webinar, 30 minutes, unfortunately we will not be taking live questions and answers. However, I will provide my contact information so that you may reach out after the fact. And I hope to hear from you. So we have a lot going on here in the world of learning and development. Today it's all about generating leads and as well as about converting leads. So in case you did not know this, this is part of an online learning series that we have been doing since July. So myself and my teammates on the Remax Integra Learning and Development team have been conducting these webinars over the course of several weeks, and this will go into November. So as you can see, the ones in red have already occurred. Those recordings are on YouTube. They're also on Remax University. So we did send some, some of that out in follow-up. And if you need help finding those, let us know. So today is the lead gen and conversion. And then look what we have coming up in October. It is an action packed month. Next month, next week, actually two weeks from now, Sharon Montgomery from Ontario Atlantic, a lot of you know her, will be doing her awesome staging solo class. Josh Luna will be back for marketing. And John's gonna round it up with social media and video and back to back weeks, back to back two weeks actually. So if you've not registered for those, Please go for the US, go to soldsignblog.com and for Canada, go to blog.bestagent.ca. So we hope to see you all there virtually. All right, let's go. You know, uh, there's a lot to cover here. So the one thing that you will get to know about the agenda here is that as you will see quickly, a lot of you are here to learn about getting new leads. So we're going to be very heavy on the lead generation and a little lighter on the conversion, but there's going to be some really good tips, including some tech tips that will help you in that area. All right. So let's get started. You know that expression, have you ever heard it where you have to know where you've been before you know where you're going. So that can apply to lead generation. So before we talk about bringing in more leads, let's talk about where you've already gotten them from. Specifically for sellers, you can actually take all of your listings for the year or any time period, put their addresses into a Google Sheet, which is a cloud-based spreadsheet for those of you that don't know. You can then create a custom Google map and import your address list. This is going to drop them all on the map as pins and enable you to see patterns of where your listings are or where they have been. You will be able to see where you are not getting listings and zone in on that possibly as new areas to farm or maybe just step up your marketing in the areas where you're doing well. By the way, go to YouTube and look for video tutorials on how to create custom maps and how to upload a list of addresses because I know you're all wondering right now. Okay, so with any lead generation initiative, you need to think about the end goal. You have to ask yourself some questions. What would need to happen for this to be a success? Are you looking to grow your current database or engage who is already in it? Do you want more eyes on your website, especially if you've taken time to put new fresh content there? Or do you just want to make sure everyone you know doesn't forget that you are the go-to real estate expert? Or maybe you want to widen your circle of close connections. You also have to have realistic expectations. Some of your efforts will be a short-term payoff, and some will be more longer term results that you have to repeat multiple times and be consistent with. Because sometimes it's just about branding and building credibility. When it comes to attracting brand new leads, most would agree it begins and ends with Google. Now I covered this on the August 21st webinar, but it's worth repeating. You have to assume that no one knows you. They don't. Consumers looking for an agent need help. The number one place that they go, of course, is Google and not usually on desktop. They ask Siri on their phones, they go to Safari on, even on Apple devices, it's all tied back to Google as a search engine. So my question to all of you is, have you claimed your Google My Business profile? So as another repeat statement from before, not having a Google My Business profile is like handing out a business card with no information on it. So how does this work? 
when a consumer does a general search for real estate agents in your area, the first individual agents that show up are the ones that not only have claimed their Google My Business profile, but they have reviews. And in this case, in this example, a lot of them. You can have just one review and you will show up before other teams or agents that have zero or haven't even claimed their profiles. And they may be producing in a much higher category than you, but it's all about Google. It's all about getting this completed. Reviews are lead generators, but it can also prevent leads if you have old reviews or none at all. According to US-based company HomeSnap, Google and Facebook control over 80% of all total web traffic. So it's not surprising that Google reviews help project your business profiles to the top of search results. So are you wondering how this team got so many reviews? Well, so was I. I reached out to their team leader, actually. His name is Scott Rogers, and he said they send four emails out to each client. Two of them are before the closing and two are after, but he does attribute a consistent plan with those emails to the success of getting a good return on asking for reviews. I want to recognize a job well done to one of our very own Remax Integra teams in Madison, Wisconsin, Dan Miller and the Mad City Dream Homes team. So, and I believe Dan is registered for this webinar, so I hope you're on. How do you get more reviews to help you generate more leads and more clients? Well, you can go to your own profile and you can click on the link to your reviews. Now, consumers will do this as well. The key to reviews is keeping them current and acknowledging all of them, good or bad, that's how it goes in our business, immediately. Notice that this response was done right away. So don't just respond with a, with a thank you, or that's too simple. You know, that, what you wanna do is you wanna be very specific. Specifically mention the details of the transaction so it's more personal and not a form response. This is going to be noticed by potential new clients. So kudos to Dan and his team on an outstanding job of getting these reviews. Sorry, I was just checking the chat box really quick. Looks like some are having audio problems. Again, this is being recorded so that you will get to see the playback of it. Okay, so once again with Dan Miller and his team, Dan has generously shared comments to me. I reached out to him as well about how they are so successful with Google reviews. They just ask their clients if they'd be willing to write one for them. They do this in person and they do this on the phone. They also will send a thank you note or a gift for the review. And they also use, let's go back with, with lead generation they, and lead conversion, I should say. They actually send a link to their existing of their existing reviews to any leads that they're getting, as you can see right here. So thank you again, Dan. I hope you're on the webinar and I really do appreciate you sharing. Okay, so finally, make reviews a regular part of your branding and communications to assist in generating even more business. So add a statement to your email signature. The easier it is for them to review you, the better. So no one wants to fill out any more than a couple of clicks in. So what you do is you can take the URL as on the previous screen, as we saw, and you can send that to them or insert that here into your email signature. So the easier again, the better. Okay, in general, when we think lead generation, we think more big picture, just in general, how do I get more business? But have you ever thought about getting more granular and focusing on some specialties? If you are on this webinar, then you already like to learn. So you have so much opportunity to expand your knowledge in real estate by just taking the time to learn about all of these different avenues in, in the industry. This is just a small sampling of what you can do. Now I know there's plenty of others that are not on this list like estate sales or maybe flipping properties. And it, in Canada, you have some very specific niches as well as we do in the US. So for those of you that are brand new to real estate, this is a gateway to becoming even better prepared as you begin to encounter potential clients in these areas and it will happen if it hasn't already. So how do you get started learning a new niche that, so that you can generate more leads from there? You have to take the time to learn. 
That may mean blocking out an hour each week to focus on one particular topic. Now, Google and YouTube will be most helpful, but don't rule out going to your local library to find more and current resources. That's right, I said library. So actually, it's a nice quiet place to work if you ever want one. Once you gain confidence on these, in these categories, you can actually create a few videos to promote it with five tips in these specialties. Or if you're not a video person, just write a blog series. Now, many of you have held first-time buyer seminars, but you can also seek other audiences to connect with, such as investors or those that maybe want to start the buying and flipping of properties. The best part is there's always someone in your office or in your community that has the expertise that you're looking for. Find those individuals, take them to breakfast or lunch or dinner, interview them and gain more insight. You might even be able to do some type of a co-marketing or partnership with them. One of our Minnesota team leaders, Shauna Frazier, does a fantastic job of working her niche, and that's investors. She hosts regular seminars on how to become an investor. She even has a weekly radio spot live with a local radio station in the Minneapolis area, and she streams it live on her Facebook page, as she does with all her client events and the investor events themselves. So look at the views on her content. She is on fire. So you've got 340 on the left side and 470, and look at all the shares. So this is what real engagement looks like, and Shauna knows her area of expertise, and she really knows who to connect with. So great job, Shauna. As part of building your business, it's you know becoming that go-to real estate person in all aspects of your life. Ellie Feldman from Madison, Wisconsin says it best. Keep living your life, and wherever you spend most of your time, make sure the people that are there know who you are and what you do. So you know a lot more people than you think you do. So I know a lot of you wear Remax shirts to the gym and uh, you get business off of that. So again, think about that. Where are you? So in her case, she does workouts. She's gotten business from there at some of the things that she does in the community. So take Ellie's advice and think about that. Have those conversations on a regular basis. When it comes to lead generation, there is nothing like looking to your entire Remax network for ideas and support. We are 125,000 agents strong across the world. And the Facebook group, Remax Creative, was actually started by and managed by your peers, Remax agents just like you. So join today to collaborate, learn from them, and they will ask you a few questions, so you have to verify that you are with Remax, but you will see a lot of great things happening. In fact, on this group, I posted a request to see all the agents out there that have their vehicles wrapped and with the current branding and wow, did they answer the call. Some of you might've seen this already on that group. So as you're seeing in these pictures, there's so many ways to promote the brand on your vehicle, whether it's a pickup truck, a sport utility vehicle, a car, as you can see trailers. And some of you have gone out and gotten moving trucks that you offer free to your clients. And you've got that all wrapped and branded like this one right here. So the whole point of this is to figure out ways to be visible. Now, of course, this is going to be more of a longer term payoff unless someone approaches you somewhere and says, hey, you're with Remax, I need to sell or I need to buy. Um, that's a bonus. So the cost, of course, are going to range anywhere from a few hundred for smaller vehicles to potentially a couple thousand, depending upon what your vehicle size is. And the moving trucks, some of the agents out there are leasing, some have bought one but really have fun with this. And if you need assistance on getting your vehicle wrapped, have your broker on to reach out to your region marketing specialist for assistance and guidance in this area. Okay, so let's talk social media. There is a way to use your cover photo on both your business page and personal on Facebook that will include a call to action and you can link it to a destination of your choice. So first, have the image created. You can do it yourself on Canva or similar, um, something like that. Your message should be attention getting and a very clear statement to do something, to either click or to download or to do something along those lines. Now, when someone clicks on your photo, it takes them to this view. Now remember, you have to grab their attention to get them to do this. So don't just say when they get here, hey, check out my website. 
you want a specific action item. So such as market report or something along those lines. So when they click the cover photo, it'll take them here. It'll see your description. And what you want to do is you're giving them something of value. You know, obviously it's a way to request a report on their home or some type of downloadable market summary. You're going to be adding all this in the description. You can set up a free landing page. There's several of them for Facebook where it will take them to a lead capture form and you get their, all their information, put them in your database, and then you can reach out to them directly as well. Something else you might want to do just to keep track of this, there's a URL, URL shortener in Mac Center that you can use where it will track click-throughs wherever you're posting that link. So you take an existing link and convert it to a shortened link and you can track it. So that's really important in lead generation just to see that your efforts are paying off. Social posts can be a way to remind your connections that you are here and you're ready to help. So don't assume that they know that you're there. You, you have to keep reminding even your family and friends and the closest. So keeping in front of them and staying top of mind. This type of image was created in Canva and notice the use of the brand new Remax stickers. You can definitely have some fun with those and create that. And it's okay to put this type of message out there every so often to remind people you are that person, you're the expert. So let's talk for a moment about Instagram and there's ways to stand out. So you might hear a little bit of music in the background, but the a Re Remax Miami broker, Anthony Askowitz actually does a great job on Instagram of showing a video summary of homes that he sold each month. And as someone is scrolling through their Instagram timeline, they will see this, it, it will catch their eye. So you'll notice he shows properties of all price points and sizes. They're not mega mansions, they're not smaller units. It's, it's all a nice variety of things. So he shows interior, he shows exterior. So you can do a number of things like this. There's so many different apps out there. There's one called Pick Play Post that you can utilize to really showcase the photos of your listing in a creative way. So Anthony does a great job promoting himself, his office, and his team on Instagram. So you may want to take a look at that. Another way to use reviews as lead generators is to take any online review you have received from any platform out there. Turn those into social media posts. Even better if you have photos of your clients or maybe in front of the home or at the closing table, and you can grab one or two sentences out of their written review and turn them into these quotes and these fun social media posts. You can publicly thank them and tag them in the post. And remember, you can utilize all platforms, not just Facebook, not just Instagram, but think about LinkedIn as well, and maybe even Twitter. Okay, so let's talk about long-term branding strategies. And I wanna give a shout out to Kayla Wygent, who's in Northeast Indiana. You saw her picture earlier. So she drives a Jeep and she's actually turned this into sort of her, her uh, branding and her caricature, which is really cute. And what she does is she drives around town with this wheel cover and she said she paid only around $60 for this and had it done locally. And she's already gotten a listing from it. So that pays for itself 10 times over. So think about getting creative this way. Now also Kayla does a great job of involving her family into her business. So her mom, she posted a picture of, on the left-hand side, her mom bought her a tumbler and she said, hey mom, thanks for the tumbler. So I say thank you to mom. That's great that she's getting the support from her family. On the right-hand side, you'll see her husband, Caleb, actually races motocross. And you'll see it's got the Remax logo and it's got her name on there. So anybody that he's around will see this. Again, this is long-term payoff, but it's going to be a great way to go. Something else you might want to do, and by the way, I know a lot of you do this with your kids, you have them at open houses and events, but have your family members or people that are really close to you, like your hairstylist, carry business cards of yours because that way they can sort of be your walking advertisements. Community involvement goes a long way. So again, another kudos to Remax Integrity in Northeast Indiana. They took over their town with the Remax red, white, and blue. They invested in the Balloon Man costume for parades and other events. So this is Jeremy Patton, the broker owner, who's usually in the costume. He, he does say it's really hot in there, but he has a great time. They use it for parades. 
They have a bouncy house that they use because they found in their community that it's a family community. So the kids really love the bouncy house. So I think it's really creative. So many of you will take time between appointments to work in Starbucks, Panera, or other popular establishments. So why not do some subtle advertising while you're doing so? You can get a customized laptop skin to put the Remax brand with you front and center. So as one of the most universally recognized logos in the world, it's definitely gonna be a conversation starter for you. And you will never have anyone walk up to you and say, hey, what's Remax? The prices of these are usually in the $20 to $35 US range. So two popular sources for this are listed right here. And that's Cafe Press and Skin It. On the right hand side, so let's uh, say hello to Tanya Evans from Remax Revolution in Evansville. This is her photo of her laptop skin and she's been using this for quite a while now. So great job to Tanya. And hey, let's think about bringing back the shopping cart ads. You want to think about what's happening right now in people's email inboxes. They're getting inundated with digital advertising. And these are things that will, if you put something tangible in front of them, it's going to be, again, more subtle, more longer term payoff. But then what you're going to do is you're going to have that opportunity to get in front of people. Everyone's got their mobile phones out. They might see it. They'll take a picture of it and say, hey, I'm thinking about selling my home, maybe not right now, but maybe in two months. So I'm going to call Carol or I'm going to call the property sisters. So Tina and Stacy, our very own Waukesha, Wisconsin. I know they're on this webinar. I know Tina is. So great job on getting the shopping carts going and getting visible in the community. So it's that time of year. Hard to believe it's October already. So some of you are already doing a great job putting together some really creative client appreciation events. So I want to send special recognition and shout out to Remax Legends Group in Indianapolis because they have an event coming up this Saturday and they're going to have the balloon. They're making a really good campaign to promote this. I've been receiving their emails. I see this on Facebook. So great job for that and best wishes to them for a very fun event. And we hope to see a lot of videos and pictures. So just some thoughts there. So direct mail. Some direct mail ideas besides just listed and just sold postcards could include maybe a coloring contest. Now again, with Halloween just a few weeks away, you can have fun with it. It could also foster engagement with your database and your sphere of influence. So by the way, make sure you buy a coloring template or you use a royalty-free one that you have the rights to use. Very important before you go out and print 1,000 or 2,000 postcards. So make sure it's one that you have permission to utilize. And be very specific about the contest. What's going to happen on the reverse side, of course, will be your contact information and when you're going to award the prizes. Now, of course, you can do this on social media. I've never seen anything like this from your competitors, so it could be a chance to stand out. You can actually upload an image of the coloring template, again, when you have permission to use, and you can actually instruct them to download it and have them color it and repost it by taking a picture of it. Now, I know what you're all thinking, because I thought the same thing. I, the parents are going to color this in for the kids. Well, that may happen, but regardless, have fun with it and make sure, you're, again, you're very clear about when the drawing is, do it at that time, and award those prizes. Another thing you want to do is promote yourself. Self-promotion is not bragging, and there's no shame at all in self-promotion. So if you're having a special anniversary in the business this year, or something else, some other milestone that you want to celebrate, put it out there. There is nothing wrong with that. You will get so much support and love from everybody that knows you and, and likes to be around you. And you can do this, especially do this on LinkedIn because you're calling out the accomplishments of your business and you are a business owner. So really take the time to think about this. This was created in Canva. You could do something similar. Again, make sure it's properly branded. A lot of you really need to be using your brokerage logo rather than just Remax. So make sure you know what the guidelines are. Talk to your broker owner, but get this information out there. This is about you and about making sure that you're seen and known. So direct mail, as we've talked about a little bit, really quick little public service announcement here. Your CRM is only as good as the information you put into it. So make sure you keep it current. Make sure you're adding to your closing checklist to update the client address in your database. Very important. It's easy to get caught up in 
multiple closings at one time and it gets forgotten and then holiday card time or anytime you wanna mail anything out, then you're not up to date. So you wanna make sure you add this to your checklist so you can send them direct mail and be more memorable than just emails. Okay, so let's kind of start wrapping this up. We're gonna talk about some lead conversion tips. Before you go out and buy any leads, you better have a systematic way to respond to them. So are you ready? Here's a sample of a lead response plan based on lead source, what your response might be. A lot of leads may come in without phone numbers, so you gotta have a game plan for that. So think about touch points. So if you have a 30 day touch point plan of say six or seven steps, maybe you're not calling them six times, maybe you're not texting them six times, but you're gonna touch them six times in different ways. LinkedIn invitation, a video message, get creative with it. Have you ever had a hot lead that suddenly stopped responding? And speaking of LinkedIn, so days or weeks go by and you just can't reach them. So what you can do is you can invite them to connect on LinkedIn. It, hey, it's not just for job seekers. It's a professional networking site and it's social media for business and career minded people. Recent stats did show at least in the US here, or generally the average income for LinkedIn is 75,000. Now that may not be enough in some markets, but in a lot of our US markets it is. So at least to get a really nice home. So 75,000 is the average income. So think about that. The email that people usually use in their LinkedIn is their work email, and guess which one they check the most. So I've heard success stories about agents getting contacted through LinkedIn. So this is a great way to really be a professional and showcase those career accomplishments. Now the invite, you can, you're not asking them to buy a home or sell a home. Notice on the invitation, be custom with it. I'm working to expand my network, and that's all I'm trying to do, and that's what my objective is, so you're putting it out there. So really quick tech tips and a little repeat from the August webinar, but you're all programmed to call someone when you get a phone number. Well, if they don't have you on their phone, they won't answer as you could be considered a robocall or maybe a telemarketer. So be careful, but the first contact should be a text. Make sure you have a signature with Remax on it, which by the way is all caps and a slash, so they know who you are. Now for both iPhone and Android, you can set up shortcuts with your signature. Having shortcuts already is also a way to avoid typos. That really helps a lot too. So again, don't become a robocall. How many of you realize that you're a contact in your own phone? So this can help as well. So on iPhone, it's located at the top of your contacts. Make sure you remove all your personal information, but this could be your new e-business card. And notice in the far right here, you could respond to a brand new lead with this information. You wanna make it easy for people. Use those words a lot. Hey, I want to make it easy for you. I'm attaching my contact card. So this way you're in their phone and you're no longer going to be considered a telemarketer. What else can you do in lead follow-up? This is where you can bring the reviews back into it. So you set up an appointment, you confirm the appointment, and you utilize this link to send them to all your past client reviews. So that gives them something to do and to learn about you between now and the time of the appointment. So once again, you can customize a Google map just for buyers, like a buyer tour now, and drop pins wherever you're going to go with them. Send this to them in a link, and when they open it, they'll see their own Google map live and interactive. So if you are able to see a list of properties they viewed or inquired about, even if they're not specific showings, you can also use this as follow-up. And, and what you would say is, based on the properties you've been viewing, I created this map for you to see where they are all located in relation to each other and things in the community. Trust me, you will stand out because you will not see anything like this out there. It's a really good way to really be memorable with all those, especially a lot of those online leads that you're getting that are hard to keep up with. After you make an appointment with a client, just make a professional impression and send them a calendar invitation. This is for both seller and buyer appointments. Include notifications, a brief description, tell them on the phone ahead of time that you're going to send this to them so it's on their calendar. Keep in mind a lot of your clients have every minute of their day scheduled and they really rely on their calendars, so they will very much appreciate this. So do this for every appointment, as I said. You have, your time is valuable, so you have every right to ask for it formally. So this is a great way to do it and also showcase some professionalism. And of course, be transparent about why you're meeting. 
Okay, so let's bring this home. We are right at the 30 minute mark. So these are some takeaways from here. Remember, have an end goal. Ask yourself, am I ready to respond? Something very, very important is to claim your Google My Business profile. This is how you get found. This is how you can get a lot of leads. And of course, be out in the community and use long-term branding, whether it's a car wrap or signs or just your clothing, be visible everywhere out there so people will notice. And of course, utilize your, your smartphone with technology and texting and have those multiple creative touch points like we talked about. I thank you so much for joining me this morning. It was a lot of fun hosting you. Please join us again on October 16th at 9 Central, 10 Eastern. Sharon Montgomery is going to talk all about staging solo. It's a great course. Thank you so much from Remax Integra for joining us for Learn to Earn Online. Have a great day.